الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله from the dua of the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم that are that are of course always uh, the most beneficial supplications to come closer to your Lord because he was a prophet والسلام, the closest to Allah Azza wa Jal and there's so much wisdom in this hadith and in this dua so we're going to just try to look at some of it briefly and see what we can benefit for our own as a reminder for ourselves Qala haddathana Abu Bakr Qala haddathana Abu Bakr ibn Abi Shaiba Qala haddathana Abu Khalid al-Ahmar An ibn Ajlan An Sa'id ibn Abi Sa'id عن أبي هريرة رضي الله تعالى عنه قال كان من دعاء نبي صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم إني أعوذ بك من علم من علم لا ينفع ومن دعاء لا يسمع ومن قلب لا يخشى ومن نفس لا تشبع from this dua of the Prophet عليه الصلاة والسلام as was narrated by Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu who said the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa said or used to make this supplication O oh Allah I seek refuge with you from knowledge that is of no benefit from a supplication that is not heard from a heart that does not fear you and from a soul that is not satisfied all of us can relate and reflect just from the thawhir of the beauty of that dua. Oh Allah, I seek refuge in you from knowledge that is of no benefit. So here, the movement is raising his hands, supplicating to his Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala to give him beneficial knowledge and seeking refuge from knowledge which does not benefit. What is knowledge that does not benefit? Things like magic, things like sorcery, things like how to make the most, uh, 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 you know, a, a, a website for Ahl Bida or learning Bida, learning how to commit new sins. And all the various ways, learning how to make khamr, alcohol, or drugs. How to make a better strain of the weed plant, or hashish. How to smuggle it. All of these things are considered ilm la yinfa. This is knowledge that has no benefit. In fact, it only has harm, that knowledge, because it's calling you to disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's direct ma'asiya. Wa'iyadun billah. And the second after the Al La Yunfa is the dua, the supplication which is not heard. So there are things which can take which can block our supplication. And sinfulness is one of them. By being sinful, the sin, may Allah forgive us, because many of us, we, we all have sins. All the children of Adam make mistakes, they, get, they have sins. And the best of those who sin are those who repent. So, seeking refuge in knowledge which has no benefit, and seeking refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from. from a supplication which is not heard. How many of us want to raise our hand to our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala because he's the only one we can supplicate to. He subhanahu wa ta'ala is the only one who will fully be there who the love can be unconditional for. We love our parents, we love our family, but they will leave us at the grave and begin their lives over. They're affected by issues in the dunya to distract them and things that can harm our relationship. But your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most important relationship. 
And this is the relationship between the servant of Allah and Allah, the creator of the heavens and earth, who you humble yourself before, who you bow down in the dirt before, who you wash and perform prayer to. You prepare yourself to worship Him. There's nothing more humble, and that's a most powerful relationship, and that's the haq of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be worshipped. So here you're preparing for this and doing all this, and then not to have your dua, your supplication heard. And the Prophet sallallahu said, a dua hu ibadah, that supplication is ibadah, it is worship, and then it's not being answered. Who wants to be in that situation? None of us do. Because we believe in Allah, and we need Allah, and we count on Allah to help us and forgive us and guide us for our many, many sins and mistakes and the bid'ah we do knowingly and unknowingly from the shirk that we do knowingly and unknowingly. Uh, uh, oh Allah, forgive me for what I've done knowingly and what I've done unknowingly. And to have that not heard. So we seek refuge in Allah from having a supplication which Allah does not listen to. Wa'iyadh billah, may Allah hear and accept all of our supplications and answer all of our supplications in this life as well as the hereafter. Ameen, ya Rabbil Alameen. And as we said, knowledge which has no benefit, which is only harmful. And to have your supplication not answered by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the third was and the heart which does not fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Also, that is something to seek refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from. Because that's a mercy and a rahmah and a blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to, to be able to fear Him, to have taqwa, to actually be concerned about taqwa. Because many of us, we do sins boldly. We don't even think about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. <coughs> openly in front of the people because we know the people can't harm us especially in a situation where there's no Amr bin Maruf and Nain Munkar there's no command in the good and no forbid in the evil so we do whatever we want as soon as I arrived back here from Saudi Arabia a week and so ago I saw a sister may Allah forgive us and her and she was with a non-Muslim we can't say a mahram but she was there and it was it was open in front of the people in the car a man driving and she was dancing with khimar and everything we can you could see it just openly bold young you know high school age like this because there's no command in the good for men and evil and the taqwa for her was little she didn't fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala there my point being a habit of Allah we seek refuge in Allah from having a lack of taqwa and a lack of Khashia, a lack of fear and humility before our Lord. To be arrogant in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And to continue to be bold in sin, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us and guide us. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.